Okay, so here's a comparison of the 2020 Flint 13s, which is right over there, and your 1988 Flints right over here. Now, on the camera, to me, they don't look like, you know, they, they look very identical, but show a difference. Um, so, right here. Both of them are navy blue. Pick this camera up. So right here on the back, we got take this one off. Right here. So, so far, the retros look a little bit. So far, the retros on the camera look a little green compared to the originals with the gray suede. Right there. Of course, you got your smoked out hologram on the original. Something like this. That gray looks more greener to me compared to this one. It's a little beat up. Let's see if I can do this right. Of course, you know, the original's been worn. Navy blue on this one is darker. And you see it has more white dots on the original compared to the retro. For some reason, all the retros have less dots compared to the originals. We're gonna get into this review thorough. For some reason also, the originals on this has always been wider and bigger on a carbon fiber compared to on all of the retros. Of course, that's smoked out and cracked. That's why I don't wear these no more. So they are beat, but to no G, what can you expect? Of course, you got your University Blue, which that's used to look like. The gray, I think also wearability has a lot to do with it because of course, when you wear your shoes or oxidation over time, they turn a little yellow or faded or a different color. But this is definitely a darker gray. And I think that's because his shoes have also been worn compared to this one right here. Which is very, well, it's not very light. It's dark, but a little, a little bit lighter than this one right here. Uh, check. So the OGs right here. Some strange reason, the originals right here, the back of this is shorter, but also wider, the back of the ankle padding. This one is longer to the bottom. I kind of don't like that look on this. And it's a little more narrower. Also a little better on the side. As you see on the side how the 2020 pair right there has more padding than the 1998 originals. I like to cut on the original better than the back. Also, again, I'll do it like this again. The retros, this cut right here is a little shorter compared to this cut right here. See it better like that. Do it like this too. It's kind of hard. Well, you have a lot more padding. We get into the tongues too. So the tongue. 
on the OG is wide. But to me, of course, it doesn't have that awful looking over padded tongue like this. Now this right here, they messed this up. I don't know what they were doing with that, but that looked kind of sloppy. Also on camera, and I had a feeling, I thought it was me, but I knew it wasn't me. I knew it wasn't crazy. The jump man on the tongues are definitely smaller on the 2020 retro right here compared to the 98. And you will have to see it in person to realize, oh yeah, the jump man on the 2020 is smaller. Now, the navy blue looks the same. Definitely looks the same. To me it does. I mean, too much. Maybe, of course, the navy blue might be a little bit darker. But that's also due to age. Of course, the original where it says Jordan right here. Doesn't have that 13 Roman numeral like this one does on a 2020. Insoles. On the original, it's cool you still see that, you know, disformed handicap jump man missing. University blue jump man and a navy blue and soul. These right here have, you know, university jump man, navy blue and soul. One thing a lot, a lot of people don't tell you is that the 2010 pair again was the only insole to not have you know that gray I mean it was the only one that had the gray insole you know what the insoles on the 2020 pair is a little bit darker you know it's a beautiful shoe my favorite sneaker of all time I'm glad I got these in hand size tag it's the same Let's say I'm getting to this review real girl. You know, of course, the toe box on the original is a little bit wider. Of course, beat up and creased. That's what's gonna happen. These are very soft, like butter. These are very stiff, like a burnt piece of steak or something. Your perforated holes on the tongue right here. You have a select few dots compared to the original, which has multiple. I did repaint the toe box on a white, so of course the white on this is a little bit, you know, darker compared to this. So, I mean, what do you expect? I restored the shoe the best way I can. I mean, it's not the best, but oh well. There you go. And if there's anything I missed, I apologize. Y'all correct me and let me know. But from what I see, I feel like I got everything on point. In the whole shoe. Um, definitely one of my favorite sneakers. We're going to move to the boxes as well. Boxes right here. That's the new one, 2020. Tell it went back to that OG style type of silver box, which was first came out in '97 with the He Got Game. As you can tell, that the box on the '98s are definitely smaller see that height right there how this one has a little more of an edge so on camera the original circle yeah the original circle on the box on the 98 box is definitely bigger See, the size tag is on the same, but the size tag was definitely different. This is off the Playoff 13s that I got original 
And you can see that the retail price back then on all 13s was 150. While retail now is 190. Um, pretty much the same tissue paper is definitely different definitely different this is more of that you know it feels more like that silky paper this one just feel like a brown paper bag pretty much the same the gray is definitely a different gray I mean it looks very pretty much identical far away but close up it's not the gray is lighter on this on the original is definitely a little darker Jumpman, Jumpman on camera to me looks darker on your original compared to the retro, but y'all let me know. It's about the same. Uh, one last look at the box on the back, and you can see the height right there. Difference. It make the 2020 retro 13 boxes bigger. Pretty much the same. That's about it. Last look at the 13s. Also got my 04 Brad 13. These are custom. Bam. Y'all check me out. Leon Cabarrus, peace. Here goes your 3M right here. Mm, it's about the same, I say. You can see the dots better on the 2020 compared to the 98. About the same. Definitely tell that the side panel is different. One last time. I just love that.